Well, hello, folks out there in YouTube land. Got a big show lined up for you. Let's get right on into it. All right, let's pull up the screen. AITX, uh, we're going to go over the uh, Q3 for a moment. We're also going to talk about the cryptic clue that the CEO put out uh, recently, actually today. And uh, let's get into AITX. All right, we're going to start out with the uh, balance sheet. Looks like they've got $4.1 million in cash, and they do have some uh, parts inventories they've uh, included there and some share proceeds receivable. I'm assuming that's where they sold those shares to. I think it's GHS. And uh, so their balance sheet looks a little better. Uh, revenues, $373,000. I was expecting a little bit higher than that, and uh, let me show you why. Uh, back in October, this was October the 21st, AITX uh, raised their Q3 uh, revenue guidance. And it said here, um, it said, we expect significant revenue events before Q3 closes, said the CEO and president of AITX. It says there are several opportunities that we have not announced that are expected to generate revenue that would take the company just shy of $1 million in Q3 revenue. And then it showed... Um, 550,000 to 600 in non-recurring, that would be their high expectations. And of course, uh, the recurring ones, I think they had showed, they thought maybe 80,000 a month to 100,000 a month. So that'd be, you know, about 240 to 300,000. Add those two together, you'd be just shy of a million dollars. So uh, at 373,000, that's, even though that number's, you know, it's not terrible or anything, especially year over year, it's actually up 300%. The reality is when you get uh, people thinking just shy of a million dollars and you come in at 373000 that becomes a bit of a disappointment, um, which it kind of, kind of is. So it depends on how you look at it. But having that guidance put out there, you know, 50 days into the quarter, uh, I just would have expected more. So like I say, it's a glass is half full or half empty, depending on how you look at it. Year over year, it's a really good number, but not according to the guidance. One other thing that was a bit of a concern, you can see here, general administrative went up to 3.9 million from 941,000. And when you get into that, it explains right here, 3 million. It said, in comparing the three months ended November 2021, 20, uh, said uh, this significant increase was primarily due to increasing in advertising and promotion of 47,000, professional fees of 184,000, and wages and salaries of 1.7 million, including bonus expense to CEO of 1.3 million, stock-based compensation as well of 957,000, et cetera. So, you know, their general administrative is going up quite a bit and that's obviously a concern. So their loss from operations was 4.8 million. And if you'll remember, they've got a little over 4 million in cash in their balance sheet. Plus they had, uh, let's see, interest expense of 2 million. So they had a $7 million loss. So, you know, that's not insignificant. And as far as their uh, outstanding shares, we've been keeping track of that. And that's gone up, uh, let's see, we were at 4.43, then 4.53, now we're up to 4.63. We've got 5 million authorized shares. Now the CEO, Steve Reinhardt, said the other day he was going to try not to uh, have to increase these authorized shares. They, he also said, that there'd be no reverse split. And that's actually been put in writing. So that's one of the big concerns that was out there about AITX that's no longer an issue. Uh, that concern's gone. However, this authorized shares at five billion, I was wondering how in the world he was gonna do that. And I had sort of hazard to guess that it might be crypto related and I'll, I'll show you that. And I'm sitting here thinking, you know, is he gonna put a coin out there? Is it gonna be something crypto related? I'm, I, and that's just pure speculation on my part. I don't, I don't know what he's going to do. And then um, I was watching uh, the update today from Steve Reinhardt, and here's what he had to say about what I call the cryptic uh, note or cryptic message. I'm asking, please message me, DM me, put in the comments of this video, what's your general thoughts on crypto? So this is a cryptic question about crypto, but I want to hear your thoughts. Is it going to lead to something? I don't know. Is it a clue? I don't know. Well, I do. Okay. So there you go. I'm thinking that must be what he's 
planning on doing or trying to do or thinking about doing, we'll see. That's not going to be easy to uh, raise money without uh, increasing those authorized shares, but hmm, maybe he's got something um, that he can do. I don't know, but uh, I may have been correct about that. That was a pure guess. Speculate. All right, the stock itself is sitting at 0 0.018. It is down a little bit, and I'm going to tell you something. A lot of stocks are down, not just AITX. I mean, it's it's actually held in there pretty darn well. I'm going to tell you something. Most stocks in the stock market have done terrible in the last week or two or three, and this has been a really creepy market. That's absolutely correct. That's the right sound for it because it's, it's making me very uncomfortable. We've got a lot going on that's causing this. Um, you've got this... Actually, let me pull up an image here. You've got a lot of negativity out there. This inflation issue, and like I say, they keep saying it's four to seven. It's way higher than that. You've got the Rony Rona, which hopefully will start going away in the next few weeks. We will see, but it's really making business very, very difficult. And it's one of the things that uh, Steve Reinhart said about AITX is that the Rony Rona has pushed up payrolls to where payroll um, expenses gotten a lot higher and payroll inflation's way up. And because he sells unmanned security devices, there's no payroll involved and there's big savings there. So I believe he is correct that over time, this has actually expedited uh, AITX's future and the future of unmanned uh, security. We've also got interest rate fears and they're gonna have to be raised to do something about this inflation. And I don't know that it's gonna necessarily fix it, but it's, it's gonna cause all kinds of problems in the market as well, but something's gotta be done. What it boils down to is for the last two years, we've had nothing but this easy money from the government where basically they just, they've been sending out trillions and trillions of dollars. <laughs> That's like saying, I want a kajillion, bajillion dollars. <laughs> exactly, a gazillion, jillion dollars has been sent out there. And that's not, it's helped us get through this uh, bad time, but unfortunately, all that extra free money coming into the economy in the trillions or the gazillions has really pushed up inflation. Anytime you increase the supply of money and the supplies aren't there, all of a sudden it pushes up demand and now you've got tons of inflation. You've also got uh, payroll inflation. And that's not going anywhere soon either. So you've got all kinds of problems out there, and this market is uh, responding to it, and it's not responding well. And I feel like we might even be heading into a little mini recession. It's going to be difficult. I'm not comfortable with the stock market right now. It's making me kind of – I'm working my way into cash a little bit, and I'm, I'm typically around 20% cash. I'm right now at 30, and I'm trying to get up to about 40%, and I'm struggling with uh, – putting a whole lot of money in the stock market at this time. As I've said with this stock, I'm not currently in it for long term. I've just been trying to swing trade it mainly because I have been uncomfortable with the dilution. And you can see why here. And I've tried a couple of times to make money on it at five cents and then two and a half. And all I was able to do is basically break even. So I'm still trying to swing trade this stock because it is so volatile. It will swing by almost 100% in a few days at times. And it's done that many, many times. So if you time it right, you can do well with it. But I've not timed it quite right. So I'm trying to be patient with this stock. Um, like I say right now with the dilution, I want to see what sort of answer he's got for that and a lot of other things. But um, right now I'm on the sidelines and I'm going to stay there for a while until I get more comfortable, not only with the market, but what's going on with this stock as well. All right, folks. And I said this yesterday. I'm sorry I'm being a little bit negative about the market itself. And this isn't necessarily about AITX. And I said that about Humble yesterday. And, and you know, I've said that about a lot of stocks right now. It's, and really, it's more about the market right now as opposed to individual companies. I'm just a little bit uncomfortable with it all. But here's what I can tell you. There's going to be an opportunity to make a lot of money with this market at some point when it finally hits somewhere near that bottom. Now, finding the bottom is really difficult. But there's going to be some tremendous buys out there in the OTC, in the high growth stocks. And there might even be in the FANG because FANG's probably going to pull down and it already started. So NASDAQ's going to be in a struggle probably over the next few months with some, with some fake improvements that'll probably not really happen. So I think there's going to be a tremendous opportunity at some point. I don't know if that's going to be weeks, months, days. I mean, it's hard to say right now, but um, I'm trying to kind of work into cash so that I'm a, 
So I've got a whole lot of uh, dry powder ready to go when I feel like we've hit the bottom or some of the stocks have hit the bottom. And there's going to, like I say, there's going to be some great opportunities because a lot of these stocks are way, way down. And that's AITX today. And uh, if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's me know to continue to cover AITX. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and give the channel a chance. I'd appreciate it. And I hope you did like the content. And we'll see you next time on Mr. Frugal Investor.